an email ID, so I'll do that today. Yeah, please let me know if you have any questions regarding this, any topics which you are been already been posted here. I think most of you have already come up to this particular uh, cookies and uh, this. Thing. So I, I, actually, the students are not asking questions on JDBC, Node.js, and MongoDBs. So we're almost uh, one month uh, behind. Sir, for uh, integrated we were asked to submit assignment three and four in the interview. Integrated Technology Lab module page for assignment for the deadline has been extended only on the new, uh, not in. So does this mean extension? Paper? No, no, no. It is extension for all of them. Uh, <clears throat> in the lab session, I have not extended it. So let me just do it. Uh, I'll do it now only. Just hold on. I think it is already there extended. I remember. Uh, you are talking about. Assignment. Have to submit assignment three. For yes, you have to submit assignment three, four. All your assignments uh, three, four, and five, six of integrated MTech you have to submit in the lab because they basically your lab exercises. Assignment for the drilling has been extended only on any module page, not in the assignment four. I remember, I have done this one. Oh, assignment four uh, option was not there for you here. Okay. So assignment four, please, uh, I will just put up one activity here. Just hold on. Sir, assignment four, uh, it comes under exercises related to PHP, my SQL, and cookies, sir. Yeah, here it is there. Yes, 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 it is there now here. I tried, uh, like I submitted it today afternoon. But it says I am, uh, yeah, the due date doesn't been extended. Okay, so uh, for, uh, it is up to no 4th November. So it, uh, in the theory page, it is extended up to 4th November. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, just hold on, I'll extend it now. Yeah, it is done. Kindly just check up, uh, just a refresher page. It will, uh, it will display the new date. Sir, I have submitted both three and four in a single PDF file. Is that okay? So if you are submitted, it is already it is okay. But the what happens is the marks, the grading process will be difficult, Baba Rakesh. So it is already open still. So uh, I better because the grading. Uh, Assignment three and three has a grading as well as assignment four is a separate grading. So each assignment has got a, a grading of ten marks. So the, that corresponding ten marks of the assignment four again I have to remember for you and I have to just. Yeah. So we asked to club both the assignments into one period. Uh, that uh, the mail which has been given says that you have to put it in a single PDF file means not. Uh, sorry, maybe that English, that is the problem there. I made a mistake. Probably I have not checked those sentence. So please understand. Uh, also, given previous uh, meetings, A, for assignment three, there are various problems are there. Some people, some students, they try to zip those files or they just put separately and they're sending me to the email. So for, I told them those assignment three, all that. 10 problems has to be put as a single PDF file. 
that means the source code has to be copied onto a word file and the outputs and the screen prints has to be pasted on the word file and that word file has to be made as a pdf file and submit as a one single pdf file so that is uh, so okay sir got it so similarly assignment 4 also uh, there are five problems are there so those five problems are to be submit the solution for that five problems are to be submitted on a single pdf file and please submit to the assignment 4 only please submit to that link only that's what what is the difference between theory major assignment and lab task 2 sir uh, Tarun, uh, if you see the requirements of major assignment the requirements are different from the theory major assignment and the lab task 2 okay to uh, override your con uh, confusion let me open this instructions for you so the major assignment Just excuse me. Hello, madam, madam, dean sir, sir, madam, any precaution, sir. Uh, see, uh, just Tarun, please look here carefully. The major assignment. This is for thirty marks, and the thirty marks, the thirty marks are distributed for these particular set of subtasks. This is a major assignment. So these subtasks are different from that subtasks of task two. Please look here carefully. There are some additional subtasks are there in your task two as compared to major assignment. One of them is you are going to validate your code. Okay. The second thing is this to be fully functional. That is to be partially functional. The links which you provide there. And the third thing is if you look to the carefully these operations which are not there in your major assignment ajax jquery json operations as well as the file upload and download operations are not there in your major assignment okay so as well as your online chat operation is also not there in your major assignment so there is a difference between the major assignment and the task 2 we think they both are similar sir how, uh, uh, how do you think see here uh, this is your major assignment that's what you please read the uh, questions properly here carefully see the major task has got only ajax feature whereas it has this qu uh, query has uh, means this task has got jquery and json features these features are not there in your major assignment please similarly this is fully functional links links should work here clearly i, I told you here if you see here links may not work yet but may not be fully functional that is you need, all the links may not be work but it should open up in a browser and include all the design elements now the here only form validation is there in the major assignment here here you have a different set of users are there so each user is going to have different set of pages and those functionalities here here in the task 2 you have a validation so please go to this website. I told you during that interaction, how do you validate your HTML code? Similarly, in the task two, you have an online chat feature. You need to put a small window for the online chat operations for your web applications. So these are the common things for your task one and task two. So how come it will be the same major assignment and task two? Please don't think like that. The questions are different. The marks gradings are different. Around. So please read the questions properly the document don't get in a, into an immediate so always your mind yes i understand that today's trend is that or today's generation students usually you jump into some conclusions or you jump into some understandings that you already know it so better please read the questions properly do not take it for uh, means uh, 
understanding that you, you already seen that question so please read that please be coolly coolly and try to solve those problems as quickly as possible yeah so yeah any other doubts please so i i just will i will be back in another 5 minutes just i will meet uh, dean sir and come back so again if i miss him i will there is a target to be uh, completed so uh, if i miss him then it will be difficult for us so i'll just be back within 5 5 minutes so please be online i will be back
Hello, Rakesh, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, edit option is not there. Once you submit, that's it. Final, that is, that is a final. We, uh, there is no uh, option for edit there. You have mentioned that I am not able to edit my submission. Editing option we have not given. So once you are submit, is that is you are submitted. So you should have taken care before submission only. So sir, after receiving your mail about that assignment here for, I thought uh, we have to submit assignment here for in a single PDF file. Oh, that's the impression. So anyway, I will I will once again send the mail to all to have some clarification here. It is not combining them to all actually. You, you don't combine assignment three and assignment four together. They are separate files only. Is it clear, Rakesh? Yes, sir, but uh, I've already submitted, sir, in previous schedule, for the previous schedule only, I've submitted the assignments. Problem done, then there's no worry then. Once you have whatever you have submitted, you cannot edit it. That's what uh, I was trying to say you. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Arun, uh, uh, you can, uh, there is no edit option. Once you have submitted, the, you cannot uh, edit it. That's what I'm trying to say. So any assignments that you before you submit, you please make sure that uh, it is everything uh, according to your uh, plan only. The PHP and ODS are for both are same. Then it is nice to learn both. Oh, that's uh, okay. Uh, Rupesh, uh, no, Node.js and uh, PHP both are meant for server technologies. Both are meant for doing server processing only. So both are meant for uh, handling the requests coming from various clients, but PHP is different from Node.js. So in what way they are different is PHP depends on a web server uh, like Apache or Nginx. Uh, there are other web servers are there or your IIS servers. So these are basically PHP is a scripting language. So here, this scripting language, it depends on an another web server. Node.js, it supports JavaScript. It also supports the scripting process. But this can be deployable without a web server, in the sense that this itself is a basically a server tool. So you can deploy this on your uh, any uh, on your mobile phone, or if it supports to install it, some of the Android phones do support. Some of the uh, electronic gadgets, the devices do support to have this kind of uh, server software. So when you go for a PHP, PHP has got a different stack, stack in the sense a different set of tools that require PHP to run properly. But Node.js is a, a different environment. So both the environments are required for you to uh, learn and understand them for the today's uh, market. And the today's technologies are for the same work means the work is basically related to server that's why they are called as uh, they are meant for the server works only so it doesn't mean that both are of the same frameworks no each e, uh, both are of different frameworks rupesh uh, are you online Rupesh, not an understood. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Any other doubts, please? Sir, how to combine Node.js and uh, PHP, sir? You, uh, no, there's not a combining process. Uh, there is no requirement for the combine. Usually, sir, uh, uh, assignment you have given that we should implement user authentication also, sir. So actually, authentication is kind of uh, simple in uh, PHP, 
and uh, scraping uh, and scraping and crawling is kind of simpler in node js yes 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 so right. how am i supposed to combine or integrate both of them sir no 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 need to combine them see if, uh, uh, you are talking about the which question you are talking about specifically task 1 sir task 1 okay so one second here uh, are you looking for this uh, sixth point yes sir for task 1 and task 2 we have put some uh, feature here called as uh, user registration you know what is meant by user registration any new user who is going to access your website uh, your web application so he needs to register first that is thing then authentication here the authentication process involves uh, whether that user is a valid uh, user or not to use those websites or to use the corresponding web pages so here this authentication you can develop design sorry design and develop or in the terms implement with either using only with php apache mysql that is using your lamp stack or your warm stack or your lamp stack that is one way any of those stacks you can use if you don't want to use php mysql apache you can as well do this with your node js so it is not a question of integration of both the things here are you clear with this uh, Uh, if we wanted to implement that same in Node JS, sir, I mean user authentication in Node JS, it is a uh, kind of tough, sir. I mean we have to create something, and also they are uh, insisting us to use a uh, passport or JS library and all. Instead, yes, in Node JS, <laughs> so we what I have what we have given is an introduction part only. We have not given all the uh, npm all the npm modules to be installed to you, so we are not going very rigorous here. so here we have not given explicitly you do with this node js then why do you prefer for node js here sir yes sir uh, user authentication uh, can be done in php sir because we have already done in assignment four but the problem here is sir for my kind of a web crawling assign i mean for my topic i have to use node js itself sir because we can't do that in php itself because my uh, my project uh, is uh, somewhat uh, is similar sir i mean we cannot uh, get the data statically i mean it has to generate after loading the web page sir. so they ah, are okay 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 i i got your point i got your point see uh, nitin so don't uh, <laughs> yes see uh, okay so here you are developing a web application okay so your user authentication pages are being taken care by your lamp stack or your warm stack okay and your web crawling and your web either you are doing for scraping or or you are going for any other features of those web pages to be retrieving some data or to uh, delete some data or modify some data that particular web pages are separate okay so now your doubt is how do you try to combine those web pages of node js and web pages of uh, uh this lamp stack right it is not your initial it is the initial is it right you, what you are looking for what i am understanding yes. from you so you are initially you are telling that how do you integrate them see integration of node js with php that is not the way how to ask the question you have to ask the question sir i, I am going to uh, implement the node js for uh, retrieving the data so that pages are separate now uh, because you are giving the authentication to be done authentication to be checked for a valid user or not so those things are those tools or those stacks are separate so now i am using two different technologies for one particular web application so how do you uh, deploy this that's what means how do you deploy means how do you make 
uh, them to use by the users. That's what your question should be. Uh, are you getting this point? Yes. So when uh, initially when you were asking, then even I am surprising, and I, my mind also went, uh, how do you combine it in the same integration of Node.js with PHP? It is not uh, we integrate it, so that is not the way. So now there is a, uh, actually the web pages that you uh, deploy here. So on your website with PHP, MySQL, and Apache, uh, some of the web pages are going to request for a Node.js server, not for the PHP. So your scripting files of your JavaScripts look for your Node.js, not for your PHP. Are you getting this point? Yes, sir. Yeah. So now your next dot will come you next week. You will get one more dot here. Sir, Bo, I, I want to I have because Node.js you asked me to do Node.js with some web pages and Apache MySQL with some other pages. How do I run this both the things on my same system? Now the answer for this also I'm telling you, Nitin, please remember, you have to run your Node.js on a separate port number than your Apache. Both the servers should not run on the same port numbers. Are you getting this point? Yes, sir. So port numbers properly, you have to change it so that both the servers will run on the same system without any problem. If you just simply install it, both of them will install it on your port number 80 only. Both of them will be having conflicts. To avoid that one, you have to change one of the server to another port number. So that is what, when you do these kind of things, then these things, how do you solve it? Will be definitely will be helpful for you in the future for many other projects. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any other doubts, please? Uh, are you able to follow it and are you able to understand and do your tasks, your assignments and uh, other quizzes? Hello. Am I audible, please? For any, anyone can see us? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah so, uh, are you able to understand the topics from the video presentations? Because uh, Rupesh, yes, sir. What is happening with your friends? Um, very, very few people are attending this session. Sir, they are doing. They are doing. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, any other doubts, please? Yeah, please let me know. Hello. 